What is going on everybody? I'm back again with another video and I'm in the neighborhood of Bushwick in Brooklyn. It's been a minute since I did a video in Brooklyn. I made a video in this neighborhood a couple of years ago so I'm here to check out what's going on, like an update. It's a pretty cool neighborhood that's changed a lot. Pretty diverse over here so I'm gonna walk around every corner of Bushwick. I'm starting it around Myrtle Avenue and Broadway. Then I'm probably gonna walk all the way to Gates Avenue all the way till the end and then walk the main avenue in Knickerbocker and ended up by Bushwick Collective. So without further ado, join me. So this over here is Broadway and we got the subway line that passes above the J train. It resembles a little bit of Jackson Heights, but this is more quiet. So this is kind of like the borderline of Bushwick and then on the other side to my right hand is Bed-Stuy, another neighborhood. So a lot of neighborhoods that connect with Bushwick, but it's not much happening over here. So I'm probably gonna walk forward and make a detour to one of the regular streets to show you the neighborhood. One thing about this neighborhood, a lot of subway lines, they pass above ground, like over here. Then the Myrtle Avenue ahead of me, there's another one that passes above ground. So it kind of resembles some, also some parts of Chicago. But then once you get off, you see like street art over here with Puerto Rican flag, like a residential street. Because this neighborhood used to have a high community of Puerto Ricans. They're still here, but a lot has changed lately. And then we walk around Broadway, you can see they got the train, but there's not much of activity going on over here. Only in some parts, especially the area by Knickerbocker Avenue. That's where the main stores are. But we're gonna walk here. I'm probably gonna turn into one of the regular streets to show you what's going on in some of those streets. But it's a pretty interesting neighborhood. Another thing that happens, especially here, is like you see the old buildings, but you can see new developments going on over here. I go here, there's a new one, there's another one. So it's also a product of gentrification where there's constant pros with that. I guess the pros is, you know, it changed the neighborhood for the better, but then the cons is that it literally pushes people who've been living in a neighborhood for generations. It pushes them to move out because they can't really afford to live here, so. And I'm noticing when I see all types of people walking around here, you know, especially the minorities, it's, they suffer the most, but. Still a pretty cool neighborhood, nice architecture. This is like a regular street, like I say. Like I've been in some parts of Bushwick and it's being a menace, so I thought I would come back and do a proper video. There's a lot of culture. Also, another thing, you know New York is famous for doing is Puerto Rican festival, so they do it here in Bushwick too. Uh, I'm not sure when they do it. I think they do it the same day, but over here, I think if you go by Knickerbocker Avenue, that's when it gets like really crowded and they, they do, it's more like a local type of festival, not like, you know, the ones to see on TV, but then probably gonna walk forward, make it right, and then walk all the way to Gates Avenue, and I'm gonna walk to the borderline of Queens, because the thing about this neighborhood, Bushwick, it borders literally with Queens, Richwood, but it's pretty interesting to walk around here. And this is Bushwick Avenue, and you can see the beautiful architecture right here. Pretty nice buildings and then here they just pop up like new modern buildings with other over here but then you still see a little bit of vandalism happening in the bottom like the graffiti. Like I said, one thing about this neighborhood is there's a lot of street art and that's why I'm gonna end it at the end by Bushwick Collective. Like I say, it's being a menace since I've been here so I don't know if it's changed but I know it's popular for street art, that neighborhood and a lot of people that come there take pictures. One of my favorite murals over there is Notorious B.I.G. Mural. But I like the original mural in Bed-Stuy. That's the neighborhood that he's from, right by his house. But there's a lot going on over here. And also the neighborhood resembles a little bit of Ridgewood and Queens, but it literally borders with this neighborhood over here. Then look at this. Wow, look at this house that's over here with the balcony. The colors, the balcony kind of feels like those houses in the south, like in Louisiana. Yeah, I've never been in this part, but that's the beauty about exploring every single corner in New York City. So much going on. Then here to my left, it looks like it's a Hindu temple or something like that. It's written in the sign that they talk. It looks like it's a Hindu temple. Actually, I think it's an Egyptian temple. Not sure, but yeah. Pretty cool. The signs, everything is beautiful. Over here, beautiful architecture. Pretty quiet over this area, you know. Lately, I've been noticing some of the streets. But today is Thursday, so I guess when people get off of work, you'll see activity going on. But usually when I do it to the main streets, that's when you see 
something pretty interesting happening. Some points this neighborhood here reminds me a little bit of the neighborhood of uh, Le Plateau and Montreal, Canada. Like the way all the streets are designed, some of them with the bike lanes, with the bike lanes and the old architecture. Some of those buildings are a little bit run now, so I feel like if they do a little bit of a development, it'll look even nicer. That's what I think. Also, by the way, for my old viewers, I know every day they ask me, yo, Manny, how many steps you taking a day? Well, good news is, I was upgrading my phone and I got this watch over here that literally measures like the steps I take. So far, I've walked a little bit from the, my house to the train station, then over here. And so far, I got a couple of thousands of steps, but imagine when I do all the steps, I'll show you how many steps I got so far. This is what I got, 4,881 steps. It's probably gonna be way more once I finish this walk. But, but I think it's pretty cool to have a watch like this and it measures like your heart rate, your cardio. You can track your exercise, so I think that's something pretty good. Just randomly pick a street, this is Evergreen Avenue. And the reason I picked this is because I see a lot of developments in this regular street going on that I'm going to show you ahead of me. For example here, with this intersection, here you see this new building popping up, so that's why you know how the neighbor is changing. Like this neighbor is probably going to be, sometimes how they call it, like the Nets, uh, Williamsburg. It's getting there a little by little, and you got it's a mixture of old architecture over here with new buildings ahead. But even though there's parts of Williamsburg that are not developed yet, that still keeps that local vibe. And then over here you see more apartment complex with a nice balcony. So yeah, this one's pretty different from where I started my walk. This keeps going over here. You see this new building, man, and this is what I'm talking about. Vandalism that happens over here with graffiti. So you probably know, even though they're trying to develop it, but it might have some sense of sketch in here. And this one over here is pretty nice. And there's more on the other side. And you see it's still got a grocery store, or how we call here in New York, a bodega, which you'll see it all over New York City. And across the street, regular apartments over here, pretty developed. Got this old architecture here, like it's all apartments, but then literally like right in front of this apartment, they pop up this high-rise building and that's how you know the rent starts going up because where I live is like that too they literally popping up modern buildings like this when you got old buildings like this but this one looks like they develop it they fit and they put it pretty nice so I guess that's when the prices they go up but so far you know so far pretty cool neighborhood nice local neighborhood it's been a minute since I've been in Brooklyn Brooklyn has its own charm. Every single bar in New York has its own charm. Now I'm literally like a hamster walking in squares, trying to check out every street. But I tell you, there's millions of streets all over New York, so I can't really check them all, but you get an idea what it looks like. I don't know what street this is, but this one's a little different than the other ones I've been walking, you can see. And it's crazy because at some points, some of the streets here reminds me of some cities in Exus County or Hudson County and Jersey, you know. Like if you go in Jersey City Heights, it kind of looks like this, like the houses, Union City, you know, a lot of similarities even across the river. But like all of the cities are connected. These houses are connected over here, so it's pretty cool. And it's pretty nice. You can see some of the buildings. It looks like it's all connected together, but they try to divide them different. And some of this one are, oh, but this one I can tell is developed, like they renovated. They even got like a basement. So they're probably like for a high price. And then a lot of buildings I'm walking around here, all I see is for sale, for sale, real estate, you know, so going hungry, you know, to sell the places over here, the apartments. And ahead of me is like a different type of apartment complex. You see how the apartments change throughout the blocks that you walk. Here it feels like a suburb filled apartment. Even got their own parking and stuff with the brick buildings, everything going on, so. Yeah, I've never been in this part in there, and there's like a huge church over here, so I'm gonna walk over here, see what's happening before I make it to the main streets. They're just showing you like different sides of New York City, you know, just a massive metropolis right here in the East Coast of the United States. So it's crazy when you walk around some of these neighborhoods, you would never expect to find a huge church over here. Not sure if this is a church or cathedral, but it reminds me 
or some of the churches in Puerto Rico that I went. This look at a regular neighborhood, but then they got this massive structure of building over here. Pretty nice, and then the building next to it, it has like a street art. Let me see if I can get a close up. So this is around Bleecker Street. You know in Manhattan we got a Bleecker Street, but I guess Boothwick has its own Bleecker Street too, so. Look at this massive giant church right here in the heart of Bushwick. Pretty nice. Pretty massive building. And you see this building here with some, with some, with some street art. And we keep walking forward over here. Got a couple of small shops. You'll see this in every neighborhood. Crown fried chicken. Like here <laughs> in New York or in East Coast. A lot of people call it like the hood chicken. I never had it, but it might be good. But yeah, pretty interesting over here. There's a deli here, you know, every corner has like a deli, bodega, however you want to call it. So ahead of me, I see these two giant things. I'm not sure what it is. I know the building something, but I'm not sure what it's meant to be, if it's a park or something like that. You got a barbershop, another thing about Bushwick. Oh, a lot of neighborhoods in New York City, you see tons and tons of barbershops. So I guess it's a good way to try different, different barbershops in New York City, especially in the neighborhoods outside Manhattan. And I see a Puerto Rican flag over there. This is Wilson Avenue. Uh, I think Knickerbocker Avenue is over that way, but I'm gonna walk over here, like I say, to Gates Avenue, and I'm gonna walk all the way to the end by the L train by the borderline of Queens to show you the division. I made it at Gates Avenue and I'm gonna walk it all the way to the end. Unless I see something interesting, then I'll show you, but let's see what's happening in this neighborhood. So not much going on over here, pretty quiet street, but I see a development going on. The subway line is over there ahead of me too, Myrtle Avenue. So I think we're probably approaching the borderline of Queens. I know once I hit Palmetto Street, one side is Bushwick, Brooklyn, and the other side is Queens, so it's gonna be pretty interesting, but I've walked there a few times. Once I do that, I'm gonna merge to Myr Myrtle Avenue until I get to Knickerbocker Avenue and pass Maria Hernandez Park and, you know, go all the way to the end to Bushwick Collector. So another cool thing about walking the streets is you keep an eye and you see street art, not just in Bushwick Collector. That's the train station over there ahead of me. You see there in the corner, they got a beautiful street art. But I'm gonna pass and I should be approaching the side of Queens, New York. This is Myrtle Avenue right here. So I'm literally like a block or two from Queens that goes the train. So you know it's pretty cool. So the train station is here and I'm approaching Wyckoff Avenue, which it got like a little plaza. This goes all the way where the Bushwick Colette is. That's like a mini plaza over here with people hanging out. So it's pretty cool. So this over here is San Nicolas and where you see this building over here, this is Richwood, Queens. And then this side I'm standing is Bruce Brooklyn. So this street literally divides the border with the two boroughs, Queens and Brooklyn. So kind of zigzags a little bit. And then if I walk ahead, I think like a block or two down, right ahead of me is Palmetto. And then right in the other side of that street is um, Richwood, Queens. So I'm kind of like at the end of Brooklyn. This is the Division 2. The side I'm walking is Bushwick and Brooklyn, and then right across the street is Richwood, Queens, which I think is a neighborhood worth exploring. I made a video there last summer. If you guys want to check it out, I think it's a pretty interesting neighborhood, you know, pretty local, but pretty nice. A lot of cool things to see there, and definitely you got to explore it. And the main street is over here, Myrtle Avenue. So I'm going to walk to Myrtle Avenue and then merge in Knickerbocker Avenue and walk straight to the end. So now I'm in Myrtle Avenue, which is the street where I started my video. And two years ago, I literally walked Myrtle Avenue from downtown Brooklyn all the way to Witchwood. So that was a pretty long walk. But it's a way so you can see how the neighborhood changes. Once you get to the downtown Brooklyn area, you see like a lot of high-rise buildings. And then this is Myrtle Avenue, served by the J train. One thing you got to keep in mind about walking underneath here is for bird droppings. This area is not developed yet. You got a couple of deli, this over here represents more of a local vibe. Wow. But yeah, they even got a couple of gas stations around here. Across the street, they got a Deco Chimney, so I assume they got pretty good food around here in this neighborhood. 
Like if you guys want to experience great food, there goes the subway. And then once again, you got the gas station over here. And a nice spot, I think it's the mannequin across the street. But if you want to experience like great food, don't be afraid to venture around this neighborhood for some good cuisines. And the gas over here is $3.39. I don't own a car no more, so I don't really pay much attention to that. But yeah. And across the street, then there's a taco joint to my left side. Then I hear some salsa playing. So you know you're kind of in a, in a Puerto Rican community. But it feels good when you walk around the neighborhood and you hear, you know, some good music playing. Gives it like that nice vibe. Also, when you walk around, you can't see it from you can't see it from a distance, but some of those apartments has the Puerto Rican flag, so it kind of resembles like the old times back in the days. But yeah, this is a neighborhood that's worth exploring. I would say explore, you know, every part of the neighborhood. Don't just explore, don't just explore like the hipster side. There's a lot of local people living around here, a lot of cool people, a lot of vibes. So if you want to feel the real experience, explore other parts of Bushwick. And there's more excitement going on over here. Is giving me a little bit of vibes of Jackson Heights. But you know, Jackson Heights is more crowded than this. Then the main subway line is ahead of me, and that's when it's gonna merge Middle Avenue to Intercentric, and then another main avenue, which is Knickerbocker Avenue. That's where you got all the stores, a lot of things happening. So I will walk it all the way to the end. They also got a couple of cuchifrito spots here that are pretty cool. So this over here is one of the main streets in Bushwick, Knickerbocker Avenue, where you see all the stores, all the shops. Mini there's tons of stores. A lot of the stores you'll get in any neighborhood in New York and even some parts of North Jersey, but yeah. This is where all the action happens, you know. See local people hanging out here. People from different types of background, but all of them getting together over here, so. But there's more going on on the other side. Also, some of the restaurants that you see here are mostly uh, fast food chains that you're gonna find it all over. Then they got like cheap stores, dollar stores, department stores, so. Anything you need, you can find it right here in this block. And it's a pretty cool block and there's a lot of life happening over here. So, you know, I think it's pretty cool. Like a market over here, local grocery store. And I like when I walk in the market and it, and it smells like fresh fruits and vegetables. You know, it's a good vibe. So you see a bit of everything from stores, all types of good seeing even street vendors selling their products over there. You know, stuff that is things that you don't see really like in Manhattan, so that's why you gotta get off and commute and see really cool stuff happening. So the avenue keeps going, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty massive. Pretty massive. And it's already spring, so the weather's getting nicer. But in the summertime, I guess this neighborhood is lit and jam packed. And here you see more clothes, products. Like you could get anything. The only downside about this street is that when it rains like pretty hard, it usually gets flooded. I remember, I think it was last year, or two, two years ago, it rained in New York, and the street was literally like a swimming pool, all flooded. So that's the only downside. Like a lot of places in New York are not developed or they haven't adjusted yet. So when it rains, it doesn't get uh, flooded, but this one got pretty bad. But I'm not sure they're gonna fix it or what's going on, but that's one of the few downsides. And then a block ahead of me is the local park, Maria Hernandez Park, which I walked by like a few times. So now I'm just gonna cross by it and show you another side of this neighborhood. This is the side that a lot of people wanna go, but I prefer more of this one, because this one has like the original vibes of uh, Bushwick. But when you go to the other side, you're gonna see how different it is from this side. Then at some point the neighborhood reminds me a little bit of Sunset Park, the way how it's designed. The only thing Sunset Park is by the hill, but like the, I would say like the community that you see, pretty similar, even the architecture that they designed, especially like 4th Avenue, it resembles a little bit. So this is the park over here, so I'm probably gonna cross by it. Usually in the daytime you will see like skaters and then you can see spring season is coming up, the flowers are coming up. But today the weather's gorgeous, it's like in the mid 50s. You see, you know, apartments and then business in the first floor. But once I go to the other side, you're gonna see a different side of this neighborhood. And this is the park right here. Nothing crazy, pretty standard, but you have an idea what it is. You know, they got a playground here for kids. I think in the summers when it gets packed, I got I hear somebody playing music. 
than the neighborhoods over here, so pretty cool in the main areas in the middle. But yeah, that's where all the skaters hang out. So it seems like they developed the park a little bit. They got like something for them to do some tricks. I don't know how to skate, so I'm horrendous at that, but yeah. This is what you get over here, it's pretty cool. That was cool strolling around the park, but now I'm gonna make my way to Wyckoff Avenue. And that's where you're gonna see the hipster side of Bushwick with all the street art, you know, cool spots, cool restaurants. So I think you guys are gonna like it. It's like a different side from where I was showing you. So this is Wyckoff and within the block is where you're gonna start seeing some changes in the neighborhood, like the street art. Like over here, they got like an outdoor market, I believe. Probably sell some stuff over here. It's pretty cool. You would know, yeah. The so right here is where the cool stuff starts. Start seeing basic street art over here. Kind of like the borderline with Bushwick Collective and then a couple of restaurants over here. Like I say, it's been a minute since I've been here, so I don't know. If, what's up, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? been a minute since I've been here so I don't know if much has changed but yeah look at this beautiful street art right here it's pretty nice and then once I walk over that way it's gonna get nicer then they got sauce and soda it's like a bagel joint there's more over here the art is painted over here wow so it seems like that mural they painted up I don't remember seeing this but it's pretty cool and I made a detour over here to show you more of the arts over here like the business over here and then spring season is coming so some of the trees they're starting to glow up with the flowers and everything so over here you see a little piece of it and across the street this is like a mexican joint but they also have like their street art so a lot of cool spots here a lot of cool restaurants even street food they have over here got a small shop like i can say this is a different vibe from where i started my walk a lot, of diver a lot of diversity over here. So it seems like every time they got something new here with the street art, I see some things are pretty interesting ahead of me. Here you got like a Buddha. This is really cool. This is like a Buddha store. And then right here, you're gonna see some really cool street art happening. This over here is impressive. It's like a female. Across the street, there's more. So literally you gotta walk in square. This is the Bushwick Collective right here. So you just gotta figure where to go, but it's a good day, it's a good place to spend the time, you know. Then it just keeps going. If you're a fan of street art, this is the neighborhood to be. I call this like the Instagram haven. And then the mural that I took a picture years ago is right across with Notorious B.I.G. Yeah, there's even more here across the street, so it's pretty beautiful. If it's a sunny day, you'll see it's even nicer. Look at this one, this is pretty cool with the New York, New York Yankee hat. This is one of my favorite over here, Notorious B.I.G. Give a close up. I think this is like a dog or something, but this is really cool over here, all of the street art. So I just gotta say, wow, I don't really hang out here pretty often, but every time I come, it's pretty impressive, like the art that you see over here. Like, look at this one. This might be new. And they got like the subway train over here going on. You know, it's pretty fun. Like the colors, all of this right here. Like you could have a blast literally walking on the blocks over here. And look at this one, it looks like real people. <laughs> And then I think over here is like the artists are painting, so I guess they promote what they do, you know. And the colors, you know, are pretty standard. So far, I've taken 10,484 steps. I know I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take more after this, but yeah, I think it's something that's pretty cool. So if you live around this metropolis, you don't really need like a gym, you know, all you do this, all this walking over here is like a good cardio. So yeah, I did over 10,000 steps today, but I know I do way more than that every single day. Like yesterday, I literally walked from Harlem to Midtown when I was live streaming. So who knows, maybe it was like 50,000 steps. Over there, I can see Manhattan skyline. So I guess the borderline of Queens is over that way. Then one thing about the Bushwick Collective, I think they offer like tours or something, but in my opinion, I prefer to just walk around on my own. You know, you could just walk around in squares and you're gonna explore a lot what's going on here it used to be i guess it's like some warehouses but they just beautify the neighborhood and they paint it over here they're gonna sometimes pretty lit over here they got a club or something around here and sometimes they shut down like the whole street and they do like a block party that takes the whole crowd 
So maybe this year I'll try to go and, and check out the party. So actually this over here is a nice store, a t-shirt store, so I might check it out once I finish my videoing over here. Like I'm really picky with shirts and their designs, but summer is coming, so it'll be nice to get some outfits for the summer. Then this is Flushing Avenue over here. Pretty much the ending, but the store, the street art keeps going over here. The store got jeans, got everything happening over here. Oh, well, they got some nice looking shirts. I'm not gonna complain. And they got the street art over here and the L train subway line that stops over here. Being an amazing day exploring Bushwick. I'm glad I came back to check out the neighborhood and to see what's going on and I explore all the parts of the neighborhood I've never been. So that was the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.